Did you know that we have a decent possibility of setting foot on Mars for the first time in human history? Well, yes, and Elon Musk's unwavering desire is to blame for this. The Starship, a powerful spacecraft being built by the billionaire, will traverse the immense distance between Earth and Mars. Since the mission will take place in deep space and last for months, Elon Musk's company SpaceX must discover a way to protect the passengers from the effects of microgravity while they are in orbit. For this reason, SpaceX has developed a starship with artificial gravity. So, how does this spacecraft operate and what exactly is it? Make sure to watch until the end because we're going to explore SpaceX's bizarre artificial gravity starship. And please hit like and subscribe for more videos like this. No matter what you think about the idea of sending humans to Mars or whether you think it would be a failure, Musk is moving through with his plans to send people from Earth to Mars and make a permanent home there. His Starship space rocket, which is stated to be the most powerful ever made, is being constructed primarily for this purpose. It is being built to carry both people and freight. The Starship is exceptional in a few respects. Even though a few tons of cargo must fly ahead of the colonists, it is still feasible to carry more than 100 tons into orbit. This will contain systems for protecting their lives as they are required to do so due to the extremely hostile environment on Mars. Water, food, supplies for building shelters, equipment for producing rocket fuel, and the rest must all be provided by Musk. The spaceship was created by SpaceX with an upper and lower stage. The extremely heavy booster or lower stage will return to Earth at the point of separation while the ship will continue to Mars after refueling in orbit. Both of the Starship's faces can be reused endlessly to cut costs. Returning to land, the booster is rapidly inspected and prepared for the following flight. For propulsion, it will rely on around 30 Raptor engines. SpaceX is also the company that created and developed Raptor engines. Additionally, the upper stage will return to Earth after each flight with heat-resistant tiles to prevent damage from the extreme heat generated. These starships will be produced in the thousands, and SpaceX expects to launch at least three a day in order to reach Musk's goal of 1 million people on Mars. Clearly, the Starship is not intended only for trips to Mars. The Starship will be utilized by NASA for its upcoming moon expedition. The astronauts will be released onto the moon's surface by the spacecraft, which will take them back to orbit once their mission is over. The Starship is a pretty straightforward design for a cargo ship. However, issues start to arise as the Starship will be used to carry people. SpaceX doesn't have to worry about these on shorter trips to the moon, for example, because this will take only a few days. However, the journey from Earth to Mars takes months, and the hostile environment that the spacecraft must navigate exposes the passengers to dangerous radiation. Of course, equipping the spaceship with shields will solve this specific issue. Gravity is another issue, though, that is difficult to resolve. It is a problem that affects astronauts who are not traveling as far as Mars since even astronauts on the International Space Station are expected to follow a rigid workout routine. Even yet, when astronauts return from month-long journeys, they occasionally need to be carried out of their spacecraft on stretchers. On the spacecraft, Musk must create some gravitational pool. To properly comprehend the scope of the microgravity-related challenge facing SpaceX, the chief of NASA's Space Medicine and Healthcare Systems Office, Dr. Nitza Centron, outlined the effects of microgravity on the human body. 
1 to 1.5% 1 of bone mass is lost each month in microgravity, accelerating age-related changes like osteoporosis. In some parts of the skeleton, such as the pelvis, bone loss in terms of density and strength is more noticeable. Even so, a large portion of the loss is recoverable once back to Earth. Kidney stones and bone fractures are two other conditions that are made more likely by extended weightlessness. Muscles are impacted by extended space travel. Muscle mass, strength, and endurance decline, particularly in the lower extremities. Astronauts are susceptible to tiredness and injury due to changes in muscle function, the impact of microgravity on connective tissues, and the demands of activities of various intensities. Exercise is helpful in reducing the atrophy of major muscles during extended missions, and astronauts utilize the treadmill and the cycle ergometer to keep fit. Astronauts like Kelly can vouch for these realities. He spent a year in space as part of NASA's twin study, as described in his book Endurance, and found it difficult to acclimate to life on Earth afterward. Musk needs to transport the tourists to Mars as healthy as possible because he wants the Martian community to be self-sustaining. Otherwise, they would all die and his planet will suffer a catastrophic end. It's interesting to note that while SpaceX is the first company to address the harsh effects of microgravity during the actual rocket construction process, it is not the first to propose a solution. Konstantin Tchaikovsky, who was regarded as one of the pioneers of rocketry and astronautics as early as 1903, came up with one of the first examples of microgravity solutions. He proposed employing a rotating force to produce artificial gravity in space in a study he released titled Investigation of Outer Space Rocket Devices. Since then, other versions of this concept, including the Von Braun wheel, the O'Neill cylinder, and the Stanford torus, have been presented for space stations and habitats. Some ideas are even being evaluated for development including the Gateway Foundation's plan for a commercial space station, or NASA's Nautilus X, which would create artificial gravity using a revolving torus. Each of these approaches has limitations though, which render them unworkable or unable to function with Musk's spacecraft. Some of them will be challenging to launch because of their strange forms. Others are too bulky to be useful, and healthy processes will consume excessive amounts of fuel. A great idea from small stars on YouTube will complement SpaceX flagship spacecraft. It makes use of a trio of cooperative starships. The system consists of a cargo spaceship and passenger starships on either side. The wheel spokes are a propulsion that is filled in the payload compartment and robotically unfolds and deploys. Each starship will take off independently from the Earth, but once they are connected, the passenger ships will rotate to realign themselves and fire their thrusters to give the wheel momentum. The passenger ship would rotate themselves to face inward toward the hub ship or the center cargo starship after enough velocity is produced to replicate Earth normal gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared. The centripetal force produced by the wheel's rotation would cause everyone aboard the passenger ships to feel dragged down for the balance of the voyage. According to small stars, the gravity link starship concept offers a spray gravity that makes use of a main engine's spare fuel and prevents the need for spacewalks and unrealistic space building. The GLS functions essentially as a hub ship, much like a wheel's hub. The cargo bay of the GLS is filled with a thrust that can robotically fold out and lock into place, acting as the wheel spokes rather than people and goods. What speed will SpaceX need to reach to replicate Earth's gravity while traveling across space? 
small stars came to the conclusion that the system must maintain a rotational velocity of 31 meters per second using a spin calculator. The system will produce the sensation of 1G and rotate 3 times per minute if it has a radius of roughly 100 meters. The fuel needed to start and stop the spinning and get the starships ready for landing would be the least with this technique according to small stars' calculations. The chances of the travelers making it to Mars in good health have increased, even though they will still need to adhere to rigid workout regimens. So, what are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the comments! Check out our channel for more videos if you like this one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay updated on our latest videos. Don't forget to hit the like button!